Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And in today's video tutorial, we are going to learn how to make these uh, chapstick holders very easy. Just grab um, any of your yarn stash. It's a great stash buster. Uh, you can choose to have this. I'm going to show you two different ways. You can have the key ring or you can have a loop so that you can hang it on stuff if you don't want to do the keychain. Um, I like having the loop. I actually have mine both ways, but since I've gotten my caddy, my caddy has those little hooks. Okay, since I've gotten my caddies, I have these right here hanging on them, and I like to take my chapstick holder and hang it like this right here on the side of my caddy. Hold on. There we go. And I like to hang it just like this right here. There we go. So anytime I need my chapstick, it's right there on my caddy and I just grab it. Um, and you actually, I make this to where you don't have to. Yeah, so I make mine to where the um, holder only comes to here so that you can take off your lid like this and you use it just like that without having to take it out of its holder. So yeah, I only make mine to like right there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and see what we need to make this. Now, I buy this at Walmart. Um, it is the 1.25. I think it was like $4 and something for this packet, and you get 40 of these in here. So you can make a ton of these. Um, you can make them for birthday gifts, and you probably hadn't even thought about this, but the Easter baskets, you can make these in Easter colors put them in kids' Easter baskets. You can uh, put them, make them Christmas colors, put them in Christmas stockings. Um, birthday, you can ha add it as a birthday gift. Um, Valentine's, when you give them those little Valentine sacks and you put candy and stuff, uh, Halloween. So they will come in handy in so many different occasions. So you may end up using 40 more than you realize. <laughs> Um, throughout the year. Now, they may come in smaller packs like on Amazon or something. I have not checked, but um, I will check, and if I find any, I will leave the links below in the description box. Otherwise, I just get these at Walmart um, for like $4. Um, $4.47, I don't know, something like that. Okay, so now that you know you need the rings, the hook that we are using for this is a 3.75 millimeter, it's an F hook. You will need a yarn needle and you will need a pair of scissors. Okay, um, the yarn that I used for these right here, this is acrylic, this is cotton, this is Premier Home Cotton, this is Re-Up Cotton, and this is Peaches and Cream Cotton. Uh, this is just some acrylic, I think Premier Basic, and th this is Mainstay Acrylic. So, um, it works for all different types of yarn, and the one, this one here is a um, Premier Home. So, like, here's the Premier Home cotton. Here is the Peaches and Cream, and another, there's the Blue Premier Home cotton. This one right here is Hobby Lobby. Love this yarn. I love this yarn right here. And this one is, the color on it is Wild Carnation. Okay, and there's so many uh, things that you can do with this. Like you can change colors if you want. Um, I made these solid. I just wanted to make it nice and simple, easy peasy. Okay, so now that we've got all of our supplies, um, we are going to start with our yarn. 
I've, I'm using Re-Up, and I believe the color is just orange. So like I said, if you got little balls of yarn hanging around, just grab one of those little bar, uh, balls of yarn. I personally prefer the cotton yarn over the acrylic here. It just, um, it doesn't seem like it doesn't peel and get all fuzzy. All right, so, so to get started on this, you will need to make a magic circle. Just like that. And you will work five single crochets in this circle. Now, Okay, so now that you've got that, you need to pull to tighten and now you're going to work two single crochets in each one of those five single crochets. So you should have 10 single crochets when you're done. And you can pull, take this yarn, that strand you've got in the back and you can crochet it to the back like that. Okay, so that's two. That's four. And two more in the next. Five. That's six. Two more in the next. seven, eight, and then two more in the last, that's nine, and ten. Okay, this is going to be like two and a half inches long. If you don't have a chapstick with you, you can always measure it. Otherwise, I always just use um, my chapstick and keep testing my height on it. Okay, so um, now we are just going to single crochet around. There's no need in counting. Do not need to do that. So just crochet all the way around, just like this. This is going to be a quick project. My daughter, she's a nurse, and so she likes me to make these for her in the different seasons, in the holidays and stuff, and she has it hanging on her badge that she wears to work. And then my nieces, they have these and they have them hanging on their backpacks. Okay, when you get to a certain height like that, we're going to go ahead and turn it this way. There we go. And now we're going to work around it. You're going to continue working around So you can't continue working it the way we had it because the tube would be too, it's just, well, you could, I guess, it's just harder to turn it inside out. So you just keep crocheting. Now, if you're using a bulky yarn or a thinner yarn, I would always just test it as you go, making sure that your chapstick holder fits in it. Uh, I wouldn't test it till you get about this height, though. See, like you test it and make sure it's fitting in there nice and neat. Nice and cozy like that. And if it's too big, um, 
you could either go down a hook size, um, you know, if you're not as tight of a crochet as me, you could go down a hook size. Um, but it, like I said, it does, you can use any kind of yarn that you want. Um, you just would might have to change hook size. So you can play with it. Just depends on the yarn that you choose. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just showing you the four weight yarn, cotton and acrylic. I have not tried um, other size of yarns. But yeah, this will make a great, be a great stash buster for you. And this is all you do. You just go around in a circle. Till it's about two and a half inches height. Okay, once you get to the height that you want, we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Just like this. We're going to chain one, going to turn our work and kind of fold it like this. And Try to, to not work on this right here. Try to work on the smooth side. And you will place this behind you, like this. And you're going to go back into that where you chain one and through the ring, grab your yarn and work a single crochet. There's one, you can do the same with the next stitch. Two, three, and four. Now you're going to fasten off. See, looky there. Now we are going to take our yarn needle. And you're going to weave it in in the back. Just like this. Okay, there you are. Maybe you have your little holder key ring. Isn't that cute? Okay, now for our next one, our other option, went ahead and crocheted all the way up to the top. And what you're going to do is when you get to the top, you're going to slip stitch into that next stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to 
not in the same one stitch that you started your chain, but in the next stitch. You're going to slip stitch, just like that. Going to fasten off. See, you got your loop now. So now we've got to take our yarning needle And you just weave it in. I like to do it a few times just to make sure it doesn't come out. Here we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, so you have made two different styles. Just depends on which one you like that you can make. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like I said, I make these all the time for my family members. And, um, and like I said, it's my daughter, she's a nurse, and she loves this to hang on her badge. My nieces, they use them. They have them hanging on their backpacks. I mean, these are perfect little gifts. So thank you for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.